Alright guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to go over using my custom script to uh, configure WinRM HTTPS on, 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 on an Azure Nano server. Uh, last video I did the same thing with uh, using Azure Key Vault to generate the certificate. In this video I'm <coughs> using a local self signed certificate okay so what I've done here is uh, I've gone ahead and created the machine I didn't want to waste time in there I'll just go over the little things that are different um, for example uh, right here I have already set a DNS label which is almost which is identical to the name of the machine and then what I what I did also is um, see if I can get there faster the uh, the NSG that is tied to this machine, I opened up the uh, WinRM ports. Uh, WinRM, I opened up the port uh, 5985 to 5986. Uh, both WinRM ports. So now that the machine, uh, we have the machine up and running. Uh, what I'm going to uh, show first is the um, the connection. So I'll come out here and I'll copy that out, and I'll bring up my. Uh, Little test uh, my little test scripts. type in the, my password over and over again so I'm just gonna run this here just to store my password somewhere or my credentials rather okay first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a connection without um, HTTPS uh, basically just a regular WinRM connection As you can see, I'm connected to the um, the nano server. This is his IP. And let me go ahead and just uh, verify on this uh, nano server. We have no certificates in there. Perfect. Um, and then also, I'll, I'll verify here first. Let's do check the listener. Uh, we're listening on HTTP. And let's do HTTPS. That gives us an error. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually exit from here. Uh, then I'm going to try this connection here just to confirm that uh, HTTPS is not working. So it failed. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize this here and I'm going to run my script. Now, um, just so that we are on the same page here, to run my script, there are some minimum requirements. Unfortunately, you do need to be on um, Windows 10 or um, Windows Server 
2016 uh, because of the uh, new certificate command, uh, new self signed certificate commandlets. Um, if you are on anything, you will not get the full feature that adds like the the friendly name and the expiration date. So I'm gonna go ahead and run PowerShell as an administrator. And then I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my location. And the self signed one is the one we want. Uh, VM name. DNS name is the same as the VM name in small letters, so let's go back there and just do nano demo one resource group. subscription okay uh, actually I, I almost forgot let me just copy this out because I already have it okay uh, before you can actually run my script there's a few things uh, there's one thing you need to do um, let me actually bring up the script here The script here does make a does call for this uh, secure uh, file here, so we need to create that file in the same location as the um, as the script. And that file needs three entries uh, that we're going to put in. Uh, on the first line it needs to get uh, a storage account now the storage account it doesn't have to be the storage account that your your uh, machine is on um, that is going to use that storage account to actually store um, the certificate so you can actually uh, put it on the machine so but for in my case here yeah, I'm just going to use the uh, storage account the same storage account because uh, that's logical on line 2 is going to need the access key for the storage account that you're planning to use. Uh, let me see. And the access key is down here. Okay. And once you grab the access key, sorry I paused the video because the access key is confidential even though I'm going to delete it before the video gets published but all the same. And lastly, it needs a password for your certificate to use to import and export your certificate. I'm just going to go ahead and put a uh, password, but this could be anything. You, might, you want to make sure it's secure if you want to use that certificate for a long time. Then I'm just going to go ahead and save. And exit. And then I can come back in here. And I could go ahead and run my script now. Really, after you see that, after you've done the uh, the file, the three entries in the file, all you need are this uh, four parameters, and uh, you should be good. Let's see what happens. So it gave me this one because it's the first time I'm using this command let this is a new machine um, so it will prompt you for login
So what it does is it creates a certificate on the local machine. It uh, exports a certificate, and then it use a custom script to deploy um, the certificate to the uh, virtual machine, which is what it's doing now. Some script does take a few minutes to run. Okay, and once the custom script is done, it would do a removal. Now, this is a this is crucial because even if the custom script fails to implement it, it will still do a cleanup because uh, it doesn't want the um, uh, the custom script extension to get you know to get get hang there. So it will still do a cleanup whether it uh, it passes or fails. So you know, it still do a cleanup. So while that is up and running, oh well, let's let's just give it a few minutes to complete here. Should just take a few more seconds. Okay, so now that is done. So what we can do now, let's just come back here to a glue connection check. And let's just go ahead and run the same one that failed. Let's see what we get this time. Good. We get a connection. And if we uh, run this here, oops. We see that we now have a certificate on the machine. And let's do this one here. We should have HTTPS configured to use that certificate. Good. So now we use this uh, the, the, we use this option not to check CA because it's self-signed certificate and we won't have a certificate authority because it's self. And then we use this check here not to confirm C name, but if the certificate here, this is the host name and this is the certificate name, so we can actually, if I do a disconnection, let's uh, do an exit. And let's copy this out. Do this. We can actually um, use this connection here, which will just skip the CA check. But uh, should confirm the uh, C name. That should also work. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Perfect. Because that's one of the big deals about getting the C name, the label name, and everything is so that the certificate you can actually do a, a <coughs> common name check. And uh, that is the end of my script. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope this information is useful. Thank you.